Chair. I'd like to start with uh, refuting what I believe to be a false narrative at this committee. And I've listened very carefully to my Liberal colleagues. I've listened to some of the commentary from these witnesses. And I guess to a Canadian observer who is not entirely familiar with the circumstances that surrounded the uh, creation of this particular meeting, um, one would think that all is well in Canada, that everything is working as it's intended to, to work. The CSIS is working appropriately, that the CBSA is working appropriately, the law enforcement's working appropriately, and the government is doing its job. Well, that can't be furthest from the truth. The number one responsibility of Justin Trudeau and his government, number one responsibility of the CBSA and CSIS, is to keep Canadians safe. Not some of the time, all of the time. And what has happened here is we were within a hair's breadth, minutes, hours, potentially days away of a mass casualty on the Toronto Jewish community. So clearly this wasn't hatched overnight by the two accused. They were probably planning for days, weeks, months, all under the radar of CSIS, all under the radar of immigration, all under the radar of CBSA, all under the radar of our law enforcement. So I've got one phrase to say to this, to this, to this committee and to Canadians. Thank God for France. Thank God for French intelligence that gave CSIS the tip. This wasn't a national in France who was planning something against Canadians. This was an individual that we granted Canadian citizenship to that completely fell under the radar map until a tip went to CSIS. And then CSIS got the RCMP involved and we stopped what could have been a significant mass casualty event. And I'm sorry to all the witnesses, you failed in your responsibilities to keep us safe. You didn't do your job. There but the grace of God and good French intelligence, they are behind bars where they should be. Now, I listened very carefully to Mr. McCrory's words. We have a robust, we have a thorough system. Our reviews of citizens or of uh, individuals coming into our country, it takes time. You talked about what Canadians expect. Well, sir, I can tell you that I've got reports from news media that strongly suggests that the two accused in custody is by no means a one-off. In fact, I'm going to read from this report. This is from the National Post from a few weeks ago. American authorities recently announced the apprehension of 233 terrorist suspects seeking entry from Canada into the United States. Were you aware of that, CSIS? I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm not uh, familiar with the direct reference that you sure. may be alleging to in the media. How about report. Mr. McCrory? Was CBSA aware of this? Again, like my colleague, I'm not aware of the direct wow. reference that you're, 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 you're speaking <laughs> 233 would-be terrorists walking the streets of Canada, all under the radar map of this Prime Minister, this government, and our professional public service, and our security agency that wanted to get in the United States and wreak havoc in that country, and they were walking freely. We do, and I, I support my friend and colleague Mr. Motz's assessment, 
We have a broken system. And I hope to dear God, for the sake of the safety of Canadians, you identify very quickly and robustly where the breakdown happened and fire the individuals who didn't do their job. Now, Ms. Danmoff talks about how difficult it is to access the dark web. Well, you know what? Canadians aren't expecting Ms. Danmoff to protect us. We're expecting CSIS, law enforcement, and the government who has access to the dark web. And this should have been on your radar map, and you failed us. There again, but the grace of God and good intelligence from France. Thank you, Chair.